Hello, hi. Action. <laughs> Action. Action Jackson. I stick your pinky in. You don't need to. Stick my pinky, pinky in? Yeah. In the no. hole? We have a lot of ideas for the future. Mm hmm. Yeah, we just. Wouldn't it be fun to do a Kalani podcast? That's how it started. What kind of audience do you think will be interested in this podcast? Well, everyone at the Monday morning meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that there's such an incredible collection of people here with interesting stories, and it's fun to see just the variety. Or eat. Today, it's about identity. Today it is about the beauty of the individual outside of the confines of groups and categories. Who am I? I just think it's awesome. I don't know why anyone wouldn't enjoy this. It found myself in this hole in the ocean, in the little cove, totally safe. All of a sudden I go to this deep meditation place and it's all about the programming. It's all about, you know, we're just little mini vessels and the brain is running the show basically with programming. So all I needed to do was just allow spirit to delete file. Delete, 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 delete. But then empty the trash, reboot the whole system, come back up and new program download. Upgraded software. Brand new. What is this software? This software? This is the brand new software. It's it's evolution. I like this idea of constructs, though, that you're saying of um, if it's not real, then you have unlimited sources. Of exactly. Your if it's not real, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. You can not have it ever, or you could always have it constantly. So is it's, it the same thing with your idea of the construct of, of being a gay man, let's say, that category? If that doesn't exist, then you're just you. Exactly. Yeah. Or you're a gay man, or you're whatever you want. Or I'm want. a gay whatever. Whatever I decide that I want to be, whatever I decide what construct that I want to live under. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I really don't see that. I And that's why I, I say all the time, I'm like, I don't associate myself with the male gender. I don't associate myself with gay men. I don't associate myself with with things like that. I associate myself with me. I am Tyler. I am, I am an Tyler. energetic being in this physical body at this moment. And I'm having fun. Well, I, the reason I know that cooking is good for me is because I, uh, when I was, I was, I hit rock bottom like five years ago and I had anxiety all the time and I was in a constant state of anxiety. And, the, and it was these little moments in my day where I would have some escape from anxiety and I noticed one of them was when I was cooking a meal. I would cook my meal for myself and I just, it was meditative, it like held my attention, I enjoyed it and it. I was like, oh, really? Like cooking is really cool. I like, it. I like it. What it does for me, you know. It's just like a form of communicating with myself or something, and the outside too. And I immediately think about music, like playing guitar. Yeah, like I feel like it's easier for me to hear a sound. And I don't think about the rhythm or the, the science behind it, but, you know, musically or theoretically. Like, I just, it's just a very, like, if there was, like, another word for numbing that was positive, <laughs> if you know what I mean.
there was this movie I watched about, it's called Out in the Lineup, and it's about homosexuality and surfing. And I had talked to the guys, you know, I was asked, um, uh, you know, I was email corresponding with some of the guys that were doing the movie, because I'm on this website called Gay Surfers, where you can, like, link up with other gay surfers. And I was like, ah, uh, you know, but I'm not that kind of surfer, you know? I'm, like, not looking for other gays to go and surf. I just want to go surf. Like, usually it's, like, on my own time or with a good friend that's nearby or I can call up. Like, so I posed this question, like, out in the lineup. And I was like, hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm totally, in a way, not out in the lineup because most of the people that I know, it's not a thing. I don't, like, go out there with a big flag saying... I'm gay and I surf too. Like, I'm just like, I'm just trying to be a surfer and get waves, you know? Period. Amongst all these other men and women, people, you know? It's like, we're all just trying to get waves. And I guess some of it I relate to real life. I think there's some of the character in me in every role I play, except one. I think there's some of me in everything and I can feel that me. What was the role that wasn't you? There was a show that I did in 1978, which was my favorite show. It was a Stephen Sondheim show called Company. And I, and I don't sing. And the, song, the part that I played was for a non, kind of a patter song, so I didn't have to really sing except in a group. And I played the bride. And it was about a bride who was getting married after living with a boyfriend for years and years and years. And I had more fun doing that show than I think that any show I've ever done and that's over the course of 37 years or something like that. I remember early on I went to go see Anne in Maui. She was house city, but she couldn't have any guests and she had to stay at the house because people were paying her to house it. So I remember like would be at her place and <laughs> she'd have to leave and not be at her place all night by myself. And then when you would come home in the morning and you look so happy to see me and you'd jump on the bed. <laughs> and I just thought remember that early. Like, yeah, she's like into me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> it wasn't just like opening the door and like, good morning. <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember that? Of course I remember that. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, the benefits of being a grandmother for me, I cannot believe how that baby girl just pulls my heart so open. There's no there's no like, oh, tentative love heart opening. It's just like, no, it's like, bleh. Like, I, my heart is just like blood splatter. Like, I'm like, you, I'm done. Like, I cannot handle it. <laughs> this is Jillian Garricky's nature show. And we're looking out into a lot of 